Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so this is a bonus collective message. I do want to become a lot more consistent with uploading daily messages for you guys. Um, however, sometimes the energy is a bit repetitive or I just don't feel pulled or drawn to upload every day. And I don't want it to feel forced. So I will try to be a lot more consistent. Um, but I am really feeling pulled to upload this collective message for you guys today. So I did post a weekend energy spread, um, a message yesterday. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check that out. Also, if you have been following me on Facebook, IG, and here YouTube, you know, the past like couple of days or so, there's been a repetitive, um, devilish energy. Okay. A repetitive, like toxic attachment, low vibrational attachment type of energy that has been popping up so feeling drawn to do a collective reading um just some intuitive messages i was hearing enjoy okay so i feel like there is something that you are about to encounter and it is something that you are going to enjoy so i don't know if you're hearing something if you're finding out something um you're experiencing something okay this enjoyment could be in regards to anything or anyone then i also heard um i'm good love enjoy okay so it's almost like and then look at this man holding the heart and cornucopia it's almost like um you could be saying this to someone you know you could be turning down a situation rejecting someone like peacefully gracefully there is the energy here okay it could be a fire sign it does not have to be but it's like you're at someone is at your leisure type of energy here door to personal healing and happiness okay someone could be wanting to heal something with you um someone it's the energy of someone not being able to like stop thinking about you or obsessing over you okay so i turned on amazon music first song that comes on the channel for you guys is devil in a new dress by kanye west so confirmation right there okay again if you have not checked out yesterday's reading for the weekend check that out also the spreads that i uploaded this morning um to youtube facebook and um ig still has that same energy so devil in a, in a new dress um and it's actually a part of the song that i want to read for you guys really quickly all right and it says Put your hands to the constellations. The way you look should be a sin. You're my sensation, okay? It says, I know I'm preaching to the congregation. We love Jesus, but you didn't learn a lot from Satan. Um, And I feel like this is something that you know. Like, I feel like it's like a situation played out, right? It played out in your favor. It could have been someone. It feels like it's someone, Um, what was this? The healer of the ages? Yeah, you're healing or you have healed, okay? Or you have some sort of regain power here. I feel like you were dealing with someone who knew, you know, they were toxic. They knew, they like knowingly had these ill intentions towards you and they proceeded anyway, okay? I feel like you were very kind to this person, very generous to this person. You compromised with this person. It does not have to be a lover or ex-lover for you it can be anyone in your life um however i pick up on a lot of you know romance and romantic type of energy so i do feel like for a lot of you guys this is some sort of like ex person here um but it's like you're somebody's sensation now this could be someone who um which is very low vibrational towards you toxic towards you just didn't do right by you hostilities okay this person could have wanted to fight all the time or just make things diff difficult for you somebody knowingly just kind of did these things to you or knowingly betrayed you and it feels like it was multiple times so i feel like you put up with this energy um for some time but i also feel as if you kind of like you didn't re retaliate you didn't really um you didn't do anything to like get revenge back i feel like a lot of you guys just kept trying to warn this person and whatever happened happened okay so there was some sort of separation um or there soon will be i feel like this is past energy though because it's like now you're this person's sensation like they can't help but see you or hear you or watch you or think about you um type of energy and it's it's just giving me the energy of like you know like you already know this was going to play out or pan out the way that it has um or that it soon will and that could be 
um, crazy enough, the like the enjoyment or the satisfaction or the closure that you're getting from the situation. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into uh, the messages, you guys. I'm just trying to remember all of the intuitive messages that I was getting. I do feel like this person is like envious or this person is upset, um, but it is really giving the energy of like you have a, a, a leg up or you like one up this person without even trying. Um, and it's like, it's like they can't get away from you or they can't get away from the thought of you or they can't get away from the thought of whatever it is that they put you through. And that's what's really showing up here. It's like, now you're the devil, devil in a new dress. So this person, you know, was very toxic towards you, very low vibrational, but it's like now, um, the way karma is playing out, it's like, you're the devil to them, but you're not even trying. Okay. Not in the sense of you being malicious or revengeful or anything like that, but it's like, um, the way that events are playing out or soon will play out in your life, it's temptation to this person. Um, it's almost like it's somebody underestimated your power here. Somebody underestimated your power. So let's go ahead and hop into the messages. I want to pull some energy cards to see what the overall energy is looking like for you today. Or you could take this as a weekend message as well, or whenever you hear it, um, it could be a timeless message for you. Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective? Okay, so we have rest and rejuvenate. I feel like you have nothing to worry about. Everything is bliss for you. Everything is a bleed, a, a breeze, a breeze for you. Um, something about being a bliss. We got the world card. Yeah, there's some sort of cycle that ended here, and it's just giving the energy of patience. It's just giving the energy of waiting for things to play out. Again, I don't feel like you um have done or are doing anything you know towards this person malicious towards this person i feel like you have just been focusing on yourself there's a, a lot of you guys are very intuitive of course if you're watching this but it's like you just kind of always knew things would come to light you you always knew things would work out in your favor regardless of you know what weapons were formed against you type of energy so Look at this. What weapons were formed against you type of energy? Look at this. Your third eye chakra with deceit. You knew. You already knew. So you could have known what was going on behind your back. You knew somebody was deceiving you. You knew somebody was being um, was not being truthful with you. This is the devil energy here. Okay. And your intuition, there's some, a lot of you guys are very spiritually gifted or just very in tune with energy or this person's energy. Like you already knew what was up. Um, and it, it really feels like this person or these people have played themselves. So what's the overall energy spirit for the collective? Who or what is coming towards the collective? Go ahead and like the video, you guys, if you haven't already. It definitely helps the channel out. It helps this message to circulate on YouTube so that more people who need to hear it gets to hear it, okay? Journey, yeah. So you are on a new journey. This is a new phase of life. This is a new life, a new person for you. You could actually be moving, traveling. Just it's giving the energy of like leveling up or being free. Um, this is very happy go lucky type of energy that's showing up here. I don't feel like you guys have a care in the world, and it feels like somebody who may have burdened you now has all of those burdens. Like they now are forced to sit with that energy to think about whatever took place between you guys. Um, it's like, it's like no escaping this, whatever's playing out or whatever's about to play out. There's no escaping it for you, but it feels like good karma. And there's no escaping it for this person or these people. And, and they're not on the good side of the wheel of fortune. Okay. Door to spirit. Yeah. This is a, a divine opportunity. Door to spirit. Everything about the energy here is giving me like um, divine timing, divine intervention here. Okay. I feel like door to spirit. You guys are very heavily protected, very in tune with yourself, very in tune with your ancestors, with spirit, with God. And I also feel like I feel like this person, like this person just knew better. OK, of course, we believe everyone, you know, kind of knows better, but. I feel like this person um, could have received some sort of, you know, spiritual messages or confirmations or spirit just kept trying to get through to this person as a warning in regards to um, whatever they were doing towards you that was malicious or low vibrational or deceitful. Like this person was more warned many times. You could have warned this person. Somebody else could have warned this person. But this is somebody that's very stubborn, very selfish, very stuck in their ways. Um, and it's like spirit is coming through to save the day. So karma. Karma is, the tables are turning, okay? Karma is definitely playing out for you either now or soon. And it's putting you in a position um, 
to kind of watch how things unravel for this person, even if you're not looking for it, even if you aren't interested. And it's definitely forcing them to see you in this new space, this new light, um, this new journey here. What else? Angel of love. Yeah, a lot of y'all are being blessed um, with a new beginning in love, okay? People who love on you, a specific person who's loving on you. If this was a romantic relationship for you, your good karma is somebody that is coming in that is just gonna show up and show out for you. Um, and this ex person or these ex people having to be like forced to see you in this this high vibrational energy seeing you being appreciated and loved on because somebody here just did not believe fat meat was greasy like this is someone um who just believes they have control over everything everyone or feel like they can manipulate or finesse their way out of anything and everything and they tried it with the wrong person okay they tried it with the right person actually because there's some very harsh lessons being learned here but they tried it with the wrong person yeah because you are very gifted seven chakra here all right this is your crown chakra it's like you have everything you need or you will soon have everything you need to move forward from this situation or things in your life are just looking up and leveling up third chakra here okay this is confidence this is action okay i feel like spirit has helped you through this transformation has helped you um hold everything together okay what else and we have storm warning here. So I feel like this storm warning, it's also, what did I say? I feel like you already knew. You knew you could have the gift of foresight or just premonitions or dreams or just intuitive feelings here, but you knew that you would end up on the, the more fortunate side of this. So I feel like, you know, you gave to this person, you played your part, you didn't really, um, you didn't really seek out to hurt this person and you still don't want to hurt this person, but it's just how karma is playing out. It's just how much you are so highly favored by spirit, by God, how much you continue to be a good person. I feel like you were a really good person to this individual or people if it's more than one person for you. Um, but this storm warning, is like you are being rewarded, angel of love, okay? Because you went through this test, because this person tried to test you, because these people tried you, you are now being blessed with some sort of love, a love offer or just very emotional emotionally uh fulfilling type of energy here and we got community okay so now you're the it person you're the it guy you're the it girl now all eyes are on you door to spirit this blessing that's coming in i'm just hearing just hold on tight just hang on tight okay because whatever this is um even this greatness that's coming to you, even if you don't know exactly what it is, who it is, how it's going to play out, a lot of you guys know that it's coming as well with this third chakra community. This is a lot of support. This is a lot of, um, also, I forgot to mention congratulations. So I was just hearing congratulations at the beginning of the reading um, when I mentioned enjoy or I'm good, love, enjoy. Something about congratulations here. So you could just be going through, you know, um, a winning season of your life. And maybe somebody is coming back around now trying to give you your flowers. Maybe they want to give you appreciation. Maybe they want to say congratulations. Um, but you're just not accepting of the energy. But now you are the focus. So before when you weren't the focus or someone else was focused on chasing everything and everyone but you, okay, the person that was giving them this reciprocity or giving them... Um, Everything that they needed for you guys to be in some sort of partnership, whether it's business or romantic, it's like now you're getting all the attention. Now you're on top of the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you stayed quiet. You went through the losses. You stayed down. And now it's like prime time for you. It's your time to shine, okay? Yeah, healer of the ages. So I'm hearing your finances are being healed, okay? Your finances are being healed, but your overall energy is being healed. What's playing out in your life is being healed. Look at this victory, all right? Card number 28, breaking down to a 10. You guys are winning. Door to personal healing and happiness, okay? We have envy here. This person's very envious of this, okay? Somebody's upset that you were able to dig yourself out of something that they put you through. Um, someone's just upset at the fact that you're a happy person. I feel like you were a happy person when you um, were dealing with this individual and you're still a happy person. So somebody could not break you. I also feel like for some of this, this is a um, this is a friend. It's not even romantic. Like this is a friend or a family member or somebody you, you know, called a, an associate you surrounded yourself with. And they were always um, a bit jealous or envious of the fact that you were always happy regardless of what you are going through in your life um and somebody definitely intentionally tried to create obstacles for you but it did not work it may have seemed like it worked it may have delayed you for a little bit 
um, but it did not work. So let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. And this is the energy of um, like someone not being able to get memories out of their heads, okay? So no matter who it is for you, somebody is a slave to the thought of you. They're a slave to the thought of what they did to you. They're a slave to the thought of like how good you were to them. Like someone is someone is not doing good here. Like they can, their karma is, is having to um think about you all the time have, having to constantly be reminded of their actions because i keep getting like this person knew they knew they were wrong they kept intentionally doing it or they kept lying to you they kept betraying you they kept trying to um keep you in this toxic cycle they kept trying to keep you wrapped around their they kept trying to play you somebody kept trying to play you after being warned um after knowing that you're a very divine type of being here, again, a lot of y'all could be very spiritual, very into um, just spiritual practices or whatever religion, if you are religious, okay? Um, and somebody knew you're a really good person, but the selfishness did not, the selfishness kept them coming back, trying to use you, drain you, lie to you, manipulate you, cheat on you, like the selfishness. And somebody is really feeling like the wrath of their actions. So seven of cups. Six of Cups, and you're on the up and up. I'm sorry, Six of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Moving forward here, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. This person can't do anything but watch you on this new beginning. Fool card here. And I kept seeing this King of Wands, so it could have been a fire sign. Could be King or King, uh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're very like hurt and like envious. This person can't be mad at anyone but, but themselves. Okay, so let's see. Um, it was another part of the lyrics that stood out to me. Um, and I don't know why it's a part of it. And it just says cat got your tongue. So that could resonate for some of you guys. Um, maybe this person is feeling this way, like cat got their tongue. Um, but it's like, they're speechless. Somebody is speechless at how, um, things are just shifting. Somebody's speechless at the fact that whatever they tried didn't work. Okay, or it didn't work for long or something like that. We'll see if this King of Wands comes back out. Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective? Messages for the collective. Princess of Cups, very quiet, very secretive. Somebody's trying to figure out how the hell you are winning or how the hell you are doing whatever it is that you are doing. Look at this, Queen of Wands. You're the Somebody met their match. Somebody was the King of Wands, okay? Like somebody was like a devilish energy using their, um, using their gifts for... For bad or low vibrational or just very manipulative with the energy of you and everyone else but you are the the true magician here that's the energy like somebody has met their match the queen of wands is definitely devil in a dress here okay so let's see prince of cups seven of swords ace of cups look at this somebody is upset someone is upset because they whatever they tried this seven of swords okay whatever they tried to take from you if they tried to keep you stuck so that no one else could love you so that you couldn't get certain opportunities here like it did not work five of wands here this person created a lot of conflict for you five of wands with the tower card okay what else do we need to know about this spirit who or what is coming towards the collective today who or what is coming towards the collective today? Ooh, nine of cups. That's why they met. Nine of cups. You are happy. And I feel like even if this individual does not know exactly what's going on in your life, I feel like they could just feel it, okay? Because they are too very intuitive. This person is not stupid. Like, they knew exactly what they were doing to you. They knew. They 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 knew. They knew. So they can feel your happiness or they might actually be able to see you some type of way in person on social media, but they can feel this nine of cups coming in for you, okay? Even if you... A lot of times, other people see your blessings or other people see, like, your potential and success even when you don't notice it, even when you don't see it, even when you're not really tuned into it or you're just very humble about it, like this person knows that you deserve this nine of cups energy, whether it's in love, career, emotional fulfillment, whatever it is, somebody is either loving on you or very tuned to be loving on you or you're getting what you want. And this person or these people know it. Okay, Princess um, of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles, which is a, a new start here. Ooh, and the Empress. You upgraded from the Page of Pentacles to the Empress here, okay? Or you're being upgraded to the Empress. So emphasis on your position, whether in love or in finances, you are being upgraded. You're being put on a pedestal. You are on a pedestal, okay? You could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. 
Eight of Pentacles, this is things working out for you, things working out in your favor, money working out for you as well. A lot of y'all are just focused on your success, on your coin, overall on your health, and just um, just leveling up in life. And I feel like things are working for you, okay? Something's coming full circle. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. You're at this Eight of Pentacles. Things are growing for you. You've been planting good seeds. You've been putting out good karma, and now it's coming back to you. Seven of Pentacles, this person does not have much, okay? This person does not have much. Anything that they try to put their energy and effort into is just not working out, and they, they are trying to figure out why and hell is not working out a lot of these people still don't realize that they are the issue that they you know you can't go around doing people dirty or shitty or lying cheating manipulating because nothing that this person is putting their time energy and effort into is becoming fruitful or abundant they could actually be losing money okay um or something in regards to their health is declining for some of you guys as well okay we got the nine of swords. Look at this. And someone nine of swords is like being haunted by the ideal of or worry, anxiety here. Somebody is really like, what the hell did I do? Do you see like the imagery on this card? Somebody cannot get the thought of all those swords. They stuck into your back. Now they're feeling it. And nine of cups. Now you're in this nine of cups energy. And I really feel like you cared about this person and you loved on this person. You overdid your part in whatever type of situation this is for you. Um, and somebody cannot believe it, but they believe it now because this person is getting karma. Okay. So again, feels like the energy, like somebody didn't believe you. They called your bluff. They thought they would get away with it. Um, they thought that they were, um, invincible like nothing could touch them like nothing would happen to them this is somebody that possibly like just doesn't believe in karma doesn't believe in spirituality so for some of y'all this person doesn't believe in god this this person doesn't believe in themselves they don't believe in anything or anyone um but the thing is i feel like they were warned multiple times by you by other people by spirit and they just kept ignoring the warning the sun card here yeah realizing that you are their happiness here okay um you could have leo in your chart there also could be a child in a picture as well because we have the page which could represent children the empress which is motherly type of energy and then the sun gives me um a child as well here but other than that this is just some sort of new beginning for you okay um and this is you look at this this is you sitting in the sunshine this is you happy with all the abundance that's going on for you things are illuminating for you looking up for you and you just sitting back side eyeing this person because you know whether this person says it to you or not whether you have noticed it or not whether you've heard about it or not like you just know what's going on with the energy because if you know you know all right Oh, and we got the Queen of Cups, okay? So the Empress could definitely be the Emperor if you're masculine watching this. Queen of Cups could be the, the King of Cups, okay? But you are winning emotionally, okay? It's giving the energy of like um, leveling up, okay? Or high level. I keep channeling the song of Upgrade You by um, Beyonce featuring and Jay-Z. And it's a part where Jay-Z says, this is high level, not eye level, okay? So listen to that song. It could be something um, in that song in regards to you or the lifestyle you are about to um, embrace, okay? And for some of you, this is like a power couple. This is a relationship here. Somebody is, um, is putting you on the pedestal of being their empress or their emperor, their king of cups, their queen of cups. It's a lot of love that's surrounding you here. Okay. So everything that was drained from you, everything that this person took from you, or they thought they took from you, it's all coming back now. Like you're sitting very pretty here. Okay. Status, position, um, um, elevating to a higher tax bracket here. Okay. You are just very much so high level. And then we have the hermit card, but you're also very humble about it. Okay. You could have Virgo in your chart, but with the eight of pentacles and the hermit card, I feel like you are just getting better in silence. You are growing in silence. You're focused on your own garden. And I feel like you are very humble. The empress, okay. Very classy, very humble, very high level. The empress with the queen of cups and the hermit card here, definitely, um, definitely very graceful type of energy. And I feel like you've always been that way, which is why good karma is playing out for you as such. This person could have been very arrogant. Again, again, I feel like somebody who may have had like a God complex or expected, you know, people to chase them or you to chase them or just kiss up to them, kiss their ass type of energy. Like they can do and say whatever and not, um, you know, go through just the consequences of that. But yeah, that is totally shifting. So let's see. Um, but something great is happening for you guys today, this weekend. Somebody is loving on you. You're receiving a lot of appreciation. Something good. Most of the things are going very good for you. Y'all, last card. 
last card i hope you are watching this reading to the very end because the devil could not get the reading out without the damn devil and this is this person okay this is this person it's paired with the seven of pentacles here what did i say anything this person invests into is not working and again they pop they probably don't even they still don't even realize it or they're in denial or they're not taking accountability because they're still the devil. They're still popping up here. So again, this person is losing money. This person is not doing good on any type in any way in their life. Um, it's because they're still the same damn devil here. And all they can do is just sit back and see you or try to see you because you're in hermit mode here. I feel like you're very peaceful. You're healing. Okay. This is all they can do is sit back and just be haunted by the thought of it all. What's at the bottom of the deck? The three of cups. This is alignment. What did I what did I say? Celebration. I was hearing celebration, okay? Um, congratulations. So for some of you guys, I don't know what it is that you're achieving or what you're doing. Maybe it's just a congratulations of ending this karmic cycle or leveling up. I'm just hearing congratulations in advance for whatever this is for you. But it does feel like a partnership. Usually the three of cups has three people in the um, car. In this particular deck, it only has two people. So this is specifically for you. Like this has your name on it, whether it be a job, a career, financial abundance, a deposit, like a person, a lover, a marriage, whatever it is for you, it's for you. Ace of Wands, it's manifesting for you, okay? Queen of Pentacles, for you. All you did was wait and be patient, and it's here, and this person is stuck. And they watching you. They're watching this new beginning. It's, and they mad. Look at you, world card, justice, karma play out. This person is in their head while you're sitting pretty. You have your strength back. You are the magician, okay? You are moving forward. You are not giving them your energy, and they are stuck about you and how they betrayed you, okay? Yeah, you cut this person off due to a third party. Gemini could be significant here, um, but you leveled up. You the Ten of Pentacles, baby. So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know if this is for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.